guys, I've been asked to make more tutorials, so here we are. To start, I'm going to show you how I do my line art. Before we get into it, I just want to remind you guys that this is the way I do my line art. It's not perfect or the one right way to do it, so feel free to experiment and see what works for you. Okay, so before I start working on my line art, I always have a sketch prepared. Sketching can have as much or as little detail as you want, but the less detail you have, the more you might need to work on fixing things up in your line art process later on. If you've seen my speed paint videos, then you probably know my sketches are pretty rough generally, and a lot of editing happens in the line art process. Uh, however, for the purpose of this video, I prepared a neater sketch beforehand. Once your sketch is completed and you're ready to start lining, you're going to want to lower the opacity of your sketch. You can set it to whatever value works for you, but for me, I generally set it to 20%. This way, you can line over it without too much distraction. So in Clip Studio Paint, the layer opacity is located in the Layers tab above the layers of your canvas. Once that's done, go ahead and create a new layer to do your liner on. With that done, you can start lining. At this point, it's fairly straightforward. You go over your sketch with a brush or pen tool of your choice. I personally use the turnip pen tool. The width of the stroke is to your discretion though, uh, but generally I believe it is advised to go for a thinner line. As a tip, all I can suggest is to familiarize yourself with the various pen tools. They have different strokes that might come in handy for different lines. I do have a few other optional tips when doing your line art. First, it's not a bad idea to flip your work horizontally every so often. Um, if something looks off, it's an easy way to tell and to find out that perhaps your anatomy in your drawing uh, needs some work. But the sooner you catch it, the less work you might have to do later on uh, when you've really finished everything. Another tip, and it's one you can see me use all the time, is that rather than use one layer for the line art, you can create new layers as necessary. This is especially helpful when you're working on noisy areas, such as small strands of hair, or when you're working on um, something that perhaps goes over uh, something else. So for example, the bow uh, is overlaid over the collar, so it was easy for me to kind of go back and erase the collar underneath the bow, uh, seeing as it was on a different layer. This way you don't accidentally delete a part of the line art that you've just completed. Once you're done with the line art or as you go, you can go ahead and add details as well as various line thicknesses to your current lines. It makes the piece more detailed and more dynamic, but ultimately this is optional and not required. And so to give you an idea of the difference, you can now see the two side by side where the one on the right has had detail and line thickness added to it. And then one other thing that you can do is to color your line art. So there are two different ways that you can do this. Um, you can either create a clipping group, which is you create a new layer, and then you select the clipping group over the new layer option in the layers tab. And you can paint bucket it or brush over the lines as you wish to color the line art. Otherwise, you can also lock the layer pixels, um, which is also located in the layers tab, and simply paint or brush over 
um, your line art and it won't go outside those lines. So this really helps give it a more delicate and subtle feel um, rather than make it more thick, um, dark lines. But as a suggestion, it's always, um, it's always best to choose a color that is darker than the colors that you are using within your finished piece as well. So those are all the tips and tricks I had pertaining to how I do line art. Hopefully this tutorial helps you in your own art. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for more of my work. If you want to see more tutorials, but you have something specific in mind, please comment what you'd like to see down below. Thank you so much for all of your support. Until next time!